Rebecca is still very new to the island. She loves hearing about new facts, places and sights every day. However, due to her trusting and undoubting nature, some engines play tricks on her. Did you know that on a Wednesday you're supposed to wait half an hour extra at the platform? Oh, why? Because, uh, because people walk slower on a Wednesday, so they need more time to get to the station. Oh, wow. How weird. I wonder why I've never noticed that before. Thanks, you two. <laughs> I can't believe she fell for that one. And why wouldn't she? We are very good at playing tricks. These tricks can sometimes get her into trouble. Rebecca, what are you still doing here? But it's a Wednesday, sir. I, I, I mean, you, you're right. It, it is a Wednesday. But I don't see how that's relevant to my question. On a Wednesday, I have to wait here for half an hour. Who on earth told you that? Bill and Ben did just now. Bill and Ben? But they're supposed to be at the quarry all day. I'd better have a word with them. And you shouldn't listen to anything they tell you. They're always up to tricks. You, you, you were going to wait at the station for how long? It's a wonder you're still allowed to pull the express. Oh please, Gordon, at least she didn't think that Bill and Ben would scrap her. Puh, at least I only get tricked by them. Rebecca here could get tricked by anyone, even Percy. Unbeknownst to everyone else in the shed, Diesel had been listening to the whole conversation. Hmm, anyone you say. Listen up you two, I have a plan. Diesel was very jealous of engines who got to pull important trains, including the Express. But he had never known a way of being able to take the Express. Until now. You two have seen Rebecca, right? Uh, is he talking about Banana Girl? The one who takes the Express? Yes. Well, she will apparently believe anything. She might even believe you then. Precisely. If I say that Fat Hat told her to take the trucks instead, then she'll believe me and I can take the Express. Sounds good, but uh, why tell us? We're busy engines. We're busy engines? Because I need you two to help me trick her. I would ask Gary and Bert to do this, but Fatty gets suspicious whenever they're around. Now you two are going to conveniently pass her on the way to Nadford Station to tell her that she's in trouble. Understand? Yes, boss. The next day, the Diesels began their plan. Boss says to tell you that you're in trouble. Boss? Wait, what do you mean... The boss. Ah, uh, you better think of something first. I can fix it. Um, he means Fat Hat. You know, he he is our boss and everything. Y yeah, that that's why I call him boss. Uh, y y you see, it it saves on the amount of uh, uh, letters you have to say. Uh, yeah. Bye. In trouble. I hope it isn't for what happened yesterday. Despite Splodge's accidental slip, Rebecca was very worried about what the Fat Controller would say. As she approached the front of her train, Diesel was waiting for her. Oh, there you are, Rebecca. Fat, I, I mean, Sir Topham Hat, was looking for you. Oh dear, did he say anything? As a matter of fact, he did. He told me to tell you that he doesn't want you to take the Express anymore. I am to take that role, and you are to take freight trains. Oh, right. Did he say where I had to go first? To be honest with you, I don't think he cared where you went. Rebecca, on the verge of tears, ran off to try and find a freight train. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. Uh, how would you take a candy from a baby? They've had smart of us in the past. Ah, oh, you two again. Well, I hate to admit it, but you did a good job, so well done. Now stand back and watch. Can we help? No, it's my train! Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, I, I, I've changed my mind. I, I, I will allow you to help me. 
thank you, you're so generous. He's a really nice guy. And the three of them set off triumphantly. That night, Rebecca waited in the abandoned siding. She felt awful. Every train she had seen already had an engine to take it. <sighs> no one wants me around anymore. They all think that I'm too silly. I might as well wait here forever, and no one will even miss me. But at the sheds, she was missed. Surely she couldn't be lost for this long. I hope she's okay, wherever she is. Whatever could have happened to her? Perhaps she isn't lost. I hope she will be back tomorrow at least. But the next morning, she was still missing. Gordon had to take a longer journey train to Barrow, but Rebecca was still missing for her express train. Diesel had hoped this would be the case, and headed off with Splodge to take the express again. He got a shock when he arrived. James, what are you doing here? Well, since Rebecca hasn't come home, I am taking the express. But, 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 but what? But the fat controller said I was to take the express. <laughs> you? Why on earth would he choose you to take it? Oh, have you? But James didn't care. The whistle blew and James puffed out to the station, <laughs> still laughing. Diesel was furious. As James took the express, he kept his eye up for Rebecca. He searched stations, asked the passengers, and even took detours to search more hidden tracks. But it was no good. By the time James got to Knapford, he still couldn't find her. He decided there was only one thing for it. Sir, have you seen Rebecca? No, I'm afraid I haven't. I was hoping she would have appeared by now. Some workman said she'd asked if she could take freight trains, but it appears no one has seen her since. I'd better spread out the word to look for her. And so everyone searched high and low for her. Edward searched his branch line with Boko, Percy searched the yards, and Nia searched places where the leaves had started to cover the tracks. She was about to doubt she'd ever find her when she heard a sobbing. As Nia travelled down the track, it got louder and louder. Eventually, she found her. There you are. What's wrong? No one wants me around anymore. Rebecca, don't be silly. If you knew how many engines are searching for you as we speak, even Gordon is checking the main line for you. Whatever would make you think that? The fat controller doesn't care what I do or where I go anymore. All because of Bill and Ben's trick. Bill and Ben's trick? Oh, Edward told me all about that. The only engines being punished for that are the twins. Edward wouldn't let them take any trucks for a whole week. Did they tell you differently? And Rebecca told her all about what the diesels had said. A purple, yellow, and black diesel? Well, I don't know the other two, but the black diesel is a horrible and cure diesel, and you shouldn't believe anything he says. Oh. Didn't you hear me? That means you are wanted. Oh, I'm happy about that, but I don't know if I can trust anyone anymore. Why not? Because I get told not to listen to lots of engines. Don't be silly, you can trust lots of people. For example, everyone who sleeps at Titmus is a trustworthy engine. You know what their character is like, and that they don't want to trick or hurt you. As for engines and people you don't know, my personal advice is take what they say with a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt? But I can't pinch anything. Haha, <laughs> that's what I thought too at first. But then, Edward explained what it means. Taking things with a pinch of salt is that you don't believe them straight away. You should still keep in mind, but until you have seen the proof of what someone tells you, you shouldn't completely believe them. So with Diesel, I should have asked the Fat Controller first? Exactly! Thank you, Nia. <laughs> you know, for a foreign engine, you seem to know more about all of this better than I do. 
Uh, no, I don't. I don't even know all of the English letters yet. I can teach you them if you'd like. I would appreciate that a lot. Thank you. But for now, let's go home, shall we? When they returned to the sheds, everyone was happy to see them. Oh, thank heavens you found her near. We were starting to worry that we'd never see you again. Yes, and most of we were all worried about you. Some were especially worried, weren't we, Gordon? Yes, well, it's what any good friend would do. Well, thank you for being a good friend, all of you. There isn't a day when a new challenge doesn't appear, but I know that with all my friends helping and looking out for me, that I can get through them. And we wouldn't have it any other way. As for Diesel, he got a shock the next day. James had better not be here today. Aha! It's her again! Oh, you're back, Rebecca? I thought you were still in trouble with a fat controller. Well, she isn't. What? But you certainly are. I would punish you by sending you home, but I can think of something much better. And so, you shall work at the waste dump for three months. The waste dump? I never get what I want. <laughs>